Hey everybody, Santa here, Friday, August 16, and it's another hot one, as always, it's about 11 o'clock in the afternoon, so getting close to really hot, uh, guys are doing the sandbags, let's take a look. Also, Mommy and the kids are on their way back. They should be here shortly. Every time I walk over here, they're sitting down. I know it's hot. They take a lot of breaks, let me tell you. But they are working in the heat, so I can't say a whole lot. And it is getting done. They filled in that other section over there pretty good. And over here is looking real good because I wanted all that dirt dug up anyway. So it's getting there. They're almost done uh, in the last two days. They've almost done 40 bags. I have 50 more bags to go. Before I have to buy more but actually that might be enough at least for now I just need this section here and maybe a little down there but it's looking pretty good I guess we're ready for the next storm I don't know. We'll see how good these bags hold up. In the hot sun like this, I don't know how long they're going to last. Hopefully until the government gets here and does the rest. But at least it'll stop the erosion from coming any further. And if we wanted, we could really drive over these sandbags if we wanted, but I'm going to try to avoid that. I'm glad this part's done. So no more flooding behind the house. Uh, there's Sally. singing to herself she's a good worker she's definitely a lot better than that one that quit the other day they called her patchy I don't know where she got that name like my dog my dog that died patchy <laughs> and now they call this cat that we have patch I don't know, they can't think of any other names. Uh, but one bit of bad news is I was on this uh, hammock over here inside this Kubo last night because it was a really nice evening. So I sat out here for a while. I was on this hammock here and this broke, this string broke. When I got on it and the hammock dropped me, the whole hammock came down and I fell on this floor here, pounded, pounding my butt and my back. Man, did it hurt. And it's still sore today. I'm really lucky I didn't do any uh, lucky it didn't do any permanent damage or at least I hope not but it's really stiff Grace recommends somebody to come here and do a, a massage I might even need a chiropractor I don't know I took a couple Advil this morning because the pain was not good uh, and it, it did okay, but now it's starting to come back. 
Uh, really, really fell pretty far on that hard uh, bamboo floor. I laid there for a while, didn't move, praying that I wasn't paralyzed. My spinal cord. But I hit the real lower back part, my butt and my lower back. So I'm hoping it's just maybe bruised and uh, it won't last more than like a few days. Hopefully not a few weeks. I don't want to be taking painkillers all the time. Even over the counter stuff. That's all I'm going to take anyway. You can't get strong stuff here. They well, they, they don't believe in like Oxycontin and stuff like that here in this country. They have enough problems with alcoholism and illegal drugs. They don't, they don't want to prescribe that kind of stuff. So, you can't really get it, as far as I know. Anyway, I don't want to do that stuff anyway. And I've never been one to become an alcoholic, drinking a lot. I don't really like it. Have a couple beers now and then, maybe one, one cocktail here and there. But I've never been a big drinker. And uh, this country, you can't even get weed, really. <laughs> Unless you go really far north, I think they grow it up there. Past Baguio and all that. There's an area really far north. I think it's, like, pretty common up there. At least that's what my uh, my wife's nephew said. Uh, but, uh, yeah, my back hurts, man. It's not good. So let's see what happens in a day or two and then in a week or two. I just hope it's not ongoing. So I have to get this grass cut again. It's growing like crazy. Uh, I have to get somebody to sharpen my blade. It's been a while. I have to take it off of there and have it sharpened. When Grace gets back, we might have to go to the market today, tonight when the road opens. Uh, I have to get more money, go to the bank, have to get some more stuff, food, vegetables, bananas. have to fill up my diesel uh, gas can because I used, uh, used it all yesterday with the brownout. So I got to fill that. But I got a full tank now in the uh, generator. Uh, but I like to keep one full backup. And uh, I also want to get a better for sale sign for the front gate. A better, brighter one, bigger one, so people can see it more better. Uh, so I want to order one of those. Might take them a couple days to make it. If their equipment's still working, sometimes it doesn't work, their printer equipment. So, uh, I have quite a few things to do in town, but I want to wait for her and the kids. So they like to go. They always like to stop at 7-Eleven. That's their favorite place. So, we'll, we'll see what, the, uh, what happens when they get here. Uh, we have a little lunch for them if they're hungry. Uh, but they should be here fairly soon. The road opens at 12. So maybe right, right when the road opens, they'll, they'll be here. Because uh, they're coming home right after James's school, with it, which was 10 o'clock and it was over. Catherine's not going to school today. It's just phys ed day. And Mommy wants to come back home. So I said, go ahead. She can miss phys ed day. No big deal. Uh... Because she doesn't get off till 4 o'clock otherwise. And they'd be really late getting back here. So. It's better to get back here anyway. Because they always head back on Saturday. Saturday night or. Uh, no actually Sunday they head back. So they're not here very much. And she 
has a lot to do when she gets here. I want her to check on the government again. Or the brang eye. And then on the 27th, we have a meeting with the brang eye about uh, Jimmy Boy making his first payment to us of 7,000 pesos. And if he doesn't have the money, he goes to jail. So this is his first payment of the 50,000 he stole. So we'll see uh, how that goes on the 27th. Never, never stops, people. Never stops. This ain't paradise. It ain't. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like and subscribe. It's free. That's going to do it for now. God bless everyone. Santa Claus. So we're out.